What's going on guys? I'm AJ, back here with another video, Davis Drives. We got a special video here for you today. Me and JW are going to mess with this truck. But let me see if I can find the keys and unlock it first. I think this one should be working right. Nope, no, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna find out. Nope, that ain't it. Drop one. Let's try another one. You know, you remember which key it is, JW? Hey, look at this. Okay. Got some blocks, converters. Well, for those of you who didn't watch the other video, this thing is uh, <laughs> pretty full of stuff, but uh, when we moved from our original location like in 89, Dad packed this thing up and had been using it for storage prior to that. It came to our first location on Jeff Davis and then became a literal storage shed for quite some time. And Yeah, so there's a GTO wheel, a SS Chevelle center cap, Bronco, 70s model fender flares, some old small blocks, four bolt main, two four bolt mains, even better. Uh, looks like a lot of stuff fell over in time, but they, uh, check that out, AJ. It's before your time. 1984 calendar. Yeah, so that'll date about Ooh. when this thing was. Still looks new too. There's another 1984 calendar. So that'll date about when this thing was closed up for the most part. I don't even think I was thought of yet. <laughs> yep, some pretty interesting stuff. One barrel carburetors, eight track radios. Uh, this was for a, uh, Dad did a custom build on a 84 or 85 Bronco 2 when they were brand spanking new. He pulled all the stuff out and had it color matched way before all these guys started thinking of color matching. He did that. There's an old 73 Bronco door and some early 80s Caprice doors there. A bunch of grills, steering column, square body grill. Some pretty interesting finds. Not really organized, but uh, what's this carburetor go to? <clears throat> ain't no telling. Hmm. Yeah, there's a, there's a uh, half shell of a '70s Bronco grill. Kind of a big mess, but uh, a bunch of brand new GM parts in here, but. Somebody, some collector would love to have that stuff, I guess. Uh, looks like some type of a injector pump. Yep. Very, very early model. One barrel carburetors, two barrel carburetors. There you go, AJ, I'm gonna let you have this. Uh, it's not an Alpine, it's an Alfine. <laughs> you can add that to your stereo right there and uh, get, get some you bump. some extra tunes going on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Got a fader. Hook it up to some nice subs. See how it does. <laughs> an Alfine, Alfine. And here is a cellular mobile telephone. What? With a lock. That's where you would hook your handset. It was like actually the size of one in your house. And this was what you would mount in your car. I think he would keep this mobile so he could use it. That was your, where your antenna went. Uh, that was some other port there. And I think that's where you hooked that. But cellular mobile telephone. And you could take this out and it wouldn't work. It would remove it. 
so it would disable it. <laughs> That's pretty old school there. But being as he was running around to auctions and all over the place doing what he did, Radio Shack. Um, he was one of the first with a phone. Mm, late 80s, early 90s. So it was kind of a only way to do things. And it's pretty neat. That's a uh, power antenna for like a Cadillac. Make the, make the antenna go up. Old center cap. Yeah, that center cap right there by your foot, AJ. That's mm -hmm. a pretty cool one. That's a, like an SS Chevelle or a Nova. Okay. Um, Would have had a beauty ring that went with it, but. I thought I saw another GTO. Oh, it's right there. Another GTO yeah, wheel. A couple wheels. Oh. Yeah, so we'll have to dig on through here a little further. Square body lovers. There's a 30, 40 year old square body grill that's been in here for about that long. Ford grill. Mustang hubcap from a eh, 70s Mustang. This is off a of Galaxy. We just sold one of these cars. That's an XL Galaxy hubcap for a uh, 500. Looks like all those full sets of those hubcaps in here. Mm -hmm. What is this? Eight track. Eight track. Uh... That was probably one of the world's first bug shields. <laughs> Clear Chevrolet bug shield. Some pretty interesting finds. We'll explore more through here. We'll bring y'all some more videos uh, when time permits. Uh, here's a, uh, we were a trailer dealer, still are. 1983, that's what the dealer tag looked like. Oh, wow. Yeah, so yeah, this thing's been closed up since the 80s. Uh, 84, everything in here, not much is much newer than the 80s. Three different 84 tags. That's a trailer dealer tag also. Lots of square body stuff. I definitely had to explore through here for some OE tail lights. Well, we appreciate you guys watching. A little time capsule here, kind of uh, kind of interesting. We'll have to dig down to the bottom of this stuff and see what else is in here and see what other treasures we find. Some of them might put for sale. And we might just lock it away for another. What is it? 40 years now, I guess. So, mm -hmm. thanks for watching. Stay tuned. All right, guys. I'm AJ. As you see, we went through the trailer. Didn't need the keys, but um, so I got got on that one. But please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And of course, peace. Like me busting my ass. <laughs> Nasty. I got something in my damn eye. All right. That's a wrap. I done got ate up by these damn mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are better than ticks. Touche, touche. Might be some of those back here too. Ooh, gotta go. <laughs> I just expect to hear a crunch.